Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to look at the Mages, Covenant abilities, Transmog and which mount you can get as the different four Covenants. Mages have probably my favorite Covenant spell. They have a Transform spell where you basically turn into a skelet or you know like a monster. And for me transforming into some kind, some kind of an else version of what you are is like always a number one for me. So I can't wait to show you that. But again, from the Covenants, we can choose between. We can choose between Kurian, Venture, Necrolords, and Night Fae. So let's go directly to it. First of all, we have the Necrolords, and that's also the Covenants that has my favorite spell. So if we talk with the Covenant, the Covenant here, the Necrolords, you can see this is the Transmog you will be getting as a mage. It's probably also my favorite Transmog you're getting because it looks like, you know, one of those Egyptians, Sultans thing, and it, it just looks really, really, really good. It's, you can't even move it. The mount also is really cool too, so with this transmog and this mount, I think you will have a pretty cool combination. The two spells you're getting is Fleshcraft, that one is everyone else who cho chooses Necrolore will get that one. It basically gives you a shield 20% of your health, if you use it close to a dead enemy, it can get stronger. Then the spell that you get for only being a mage, it doesn't matter your spec, then is Deathborn. It basically transforms you into a powerful skelet for 20 seconds. And while in this form, a skeletal mate, your, well, your Frostball, Fireball, and Arcane Blast hit up to two, near, uh, two enemies near your target, and your spell damage is increased by 10%. So basically, you get 10% more spell damage, and also you get uh, every time you use Fireball, Frostball, or Arcane Blast, you hit up to three targets totally with the with your target included. So let's test it very quick. Let's see here. So if you go in here and say, this is the spell Fleshcraft that basically gives you the, the shield. That is, you know, 20% of your health. Strong if I use it on a dead enemy. And then we have Deathborn that transforms you into this powerful skelet. And you can see it looks really gorgeous. It's really cool. You get very tall, big. And I can just imagine me, if I play mage, I'm probably going to go with this one. Now, if I use my Arcane Blast, Frostball or Fireball, I will use, I will actually hit my target plus two additional targets. So it's pretty cool. And also my, my spell power was increased by 10%. So definitely this one could be a cool one. But again, of course, against a single target one, you only have the 10% increased damage, where in multiple targets, you of course have to double it. So it, it's a both give and take, I would probably say. Then we have the Venture. And if we go in and talk with him, you can see this is the transmog you're getting. It's kind of decent, not everything special, just like decent. We can see the mount you're getting. I'm not a fan of that mount. Uh, I mean, it's cool in, in all, but the beast is it's like, it's not me. The spell you're getting is a teleport. It's basically a blink like a mage already have, but you can choose the location on, on the floor where you actually want to teleport to. It has a 1.5 second cast time, so it's not very beneficial in player versus player. The one you're getting is called Mirror Torment. That's the spell you get only as a mage. It conjure three mirrors to torment an enemy for 20 seconds. Whenever the target casts a spell or ability, a mirror is consumed to inflict 700 shadow, da shadow damage and the movement and cast speeders are slowed by 15%. The final mirror will instead inflict 2000 shadow damage to the enemy and rooting and silencing them for 4 seconds. So let me just test that so you can actually see what it's all about. So the teleport spell is basically you pick wherever you want to teleport and then your body will be transformed over here. The mirror spell is that every time that the enemy is casting a spell on me, he will well, actually, every time he casts a spell, uh, whenever the target casts a spell, it deals damage to them. And in the end, the last one, it deals a lot of damage and then silence and root them. So I, I can use it on this guy here. Now he has three stacks of them. The problem is I, I can't really test anything on it because it, it requires this one to actually attack me. But you can imagine if you use this one on a healer in, in a player versus player, and he cast three healing spells, he will get 800 damage, 800 damage, and then in the end, 2000 damage, and also he will be silenced for four seconds. So you can see, player versus player wise, this ability could be pretty cool. Player versus environment, probably not. Then we have this, uh, the third one called the Night Phase. And if we go in and see what we get here, this is the Transmog, it looks pretty cool. For some reason, it reminds me of Destiny 2. 
The spell that everyone gets is you teleport 15 yards ahead and also you will be transformed into a ghost wolf for 50, 12, sorry, 12 seconds and your movement speed will be increased by 50. It's, it's pretty cool, it's just like a teleporting ghost wolf. The spell that only um, mages get is called shifting power and draw power from the ground beneath you dealing 2500 nature damage over 5.6 seconds to enemies within 15 yards. While challenge, challenging this spell, your mage abilities cooldown are reduced by 3 seconds every 1.4 seconds. That is pretty cool. So let's, let's actually test that. So uh, we can see 10 spells. So you can see the teleporting spell is this one here. You basically teleport into this wolf and run faster and you only have it in 12 seconds and you can reuse the teleport up to 3 times on that time. If you're inside a rested zone like I am right now, it will not will drop off but the, at the moment I really you know, I leave the rest zone it will begin to you know go on that 12 second cooldown. Then we have shifting power that deals a lot of damage to everyone around me and reduce my mage ability sorry cooldowns. So let's try use a uh, present mind that has one minute cooldown. Use the spell uh, so it gets a cooldown. There we go now it's on one minute cooldown then let's try use this one and we can see it went it actually went down to almost half of the cooldown quite fast. So it helps with all your ability, all your cooldowns to get faster ready. And also you saw it actually great dealt a lot of great damage. We can see if I reset the cooldown. It's it's a pretty cool AoE spell. So right now it dealt 600 damage to each of them. What about if I only hit this guy? Is it going to be high on him or... Okay, looks like it's the same damage for everyone, even though that guy is included. Okay. Then we have the last one that is the Curians. And the transmog you're getting is this one. So if you really want to look like a priest as a mage, it's probably the way to go. Then we have Summon Steward, who basically... It's a guy who you, who comes to your aid. He will give you a potion that heals you 20% of your health three times you can use it. And it also removes all curses, disease, poison, and bleed effects. You can also ask him to do other stuff for you while he's there for four minutes. The spell you're getting as only a mage is the one called Radiant Spark. It conjures a Radiant Spark that causes 900 arcane damage instantly and additional 334 damage over eight seconds. The target takes 10% increased damage from, the, from your direct damage spells, stacking each time they are struck. This effect ends after four spells. So basically you're creating a, well, it's probably easier if I show you it. So if they, like, can I show spells? Then let's use it on this this person here. Boom. So now you can see it deals damage over seconds all the time. But every time I also attack him, my uh, my damage against him is increased by 10%. And it can stack up to 40% and then it will end. So if we like re reset the cooldown, I can show you. Um, there we go. Use presence mind. And then first cooldown, 10%. Second cooldown. Oh, sorry, second spell. Then now we have up to 40. And yeah. So it was able to go all the way up to 40% increased damage. And then when we used the spell, it dropped off. So it deals, I mean, 1000 damage instantly, 300 damage every second. Or, uh, oh, sorry, it's not. It's only 348 damage over 8 seconds. So the damage over time is like nonsense. It's probably more like keep the rogue out of stealth. And then of course the 10% increased damage for every time you hit him with a spell. It's pretty insane. I mean it's it's really good. I, I just want to test it one more time and see if I use this one here. Oh okay, so Arcane Missiles actually use it. Arcane Missile is using all the stacks ASAP. So if I have a strong arcane missile like now, there we go. And I use this one here. And I use my arcane missile. It's getting up all the stacks. It's probably not worth for that. I think as an arcane mage, you should probably use like four arcane blasts. And then when you have the 40% increased damage, you should probably use your arcane barrage and really have a strong arcane barrage. But that's how it is. So that is all the covenant spells, transport mounts that you can get as a mage in Shadowlands. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments, what class do you want to see next time? I have made one for Druid, Death Knight, Shaman, and now mages. So let me know which other class you want to see. Thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.